hey you all welcome back to an all new video so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my seafood balls in a bag and i'm gonna start over here and kind of show you guys what i have i have the um, little potatoes i have the snow crab i have some shrimp i have my lemons my cage-free brown eggs i have my kitchen bags i have my corn my odul sausages my shrimp and crab boil and i have my obey seasoning so yeah i'm just gonna get into the video so i'm going to be making 10 seafood balls in a bag so i have about 20 eggs in my pot i'm going to be doing two eggs in each bag so that's why i have so many just in case you guys were wondering so now i'm just going to go ahead and put my corn in some cold water and give them a good rinse This is my favorite stock pot that I own. This is actually the only one I own. I got this pot from Ross and I just love it because I can literally throw so much in it at one time. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and toss in my shrimp and crab bowl. ahead and put my shrimp in some cold water i thought i left these in the refrigerator to be unthawed so when i get ready to devein them it would be easy but when i went in to grab them they were still frozen so i'm just gonna let them soak into some cold water to um unthaw as much as possible so now i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off my snow crabs with some cold water give them a good bath get all the excess dirt and everything that's on them off sticks of butter you can really boil your crab legs you can bake them it's whatever your preference is these however today are going to get thrown into the oven so i want to make sure i have plenty of butter in there while they're cooking like to do I'm gonna go 
ahead and add in my garlic seasoning. Add in some Obey on top of the crab legs as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it real tight with the lid and throw it into the oven. So now I'm gonna get ready and add in my little potatoes into my stock pot. I'm gonna give them a good wash with some cold water. basically finished i'm gonna go ahead dreadfully and get back to the shrimp y'all this water is so cold from the ice even with me rinsing it but it's okay i took one for the team <laughs> start slicing up my sausages it really isn't a perfect way on how you should slice them i usually do them pretty thinner than this but just for time's sake it, i'm just slicing them how i see fit into my stock pot give it a little stir in with the corn and the potatoes and of course i tasted one of the snow crabs off camera and let me just say they are so good and they're cooked perfectly my corn potatoes and sausages are all done everything is cooked evenly and perfect so now i'm just about finished with my seafood bowl i just need to go ahead and start cooking my shrimp i usually sometimes put my shrimp um in the oven when the crab legs are halfway through just so the shrimp don't overcook but today my sister is coming over for dinner she's allergic to shrimp and i didn't want to cross contaminate her seafood so i cooked them on stove top um this time also i'm gonna go ahead and i'm melting some of that chef shimmy scarlet butter and i'm gonna pour that inside of the bag as well to give it extra flavor these are how my bags are turning out i'm still stuffing the bags with my fillings but i just wanted to show you guys my process and how everything is looking so far so 
this is how the ending results look. This is how I made my 10 seafood balls in the bag. Thank you all so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.